It takes determination to look for a solution. Persistence for the solution to be found. And patience until a solution is found. Right before I started like powerlifting, I started like to go to a gym, but I couldn't like bench press five pounds. Seriously, I couldn't like squat five pounds. I started like that body weight. It took me like a lot of months. Then I started like to, to uh, control my own weight I need a challenge, and so I started to increase my weight. And that's how I started to, to lift, lift heavy, doing heavy squats. I started like powerlifting because I, I used to do a, a my own kind of physical therapy because of my recovery. I'm always, since a little kid, a, been involved in sports. I noticed that doing powerlifting and any other spot, it, it has helped me like to recover much faster from my injury. My my doctors are get uh, sometimes are amazed about my medical record because my recovery is amazing. They say that me doing a uh, sports like disciplines, different disciplines, uh, has helped me like to to recover much faster, so that's why I do it, and I like it. I've been playing the bass guitar uh, for about uh, 47 years. I started when I was age 11. Uh, my playing definitely changed after the TBI because um, I used to play a six string guitar as well. I started with a bass guitar. I learned six string guitar as well. But then after the brain injury, uh, it was very hard for me to use my left hand. My left side coordination is pretty far off. And I'm able to play the bass okay, uh, not like I did before, uh, but I could not play six string guitar because the strings are too, too close together, it requires too much coordination of my left hand uh, to put them on the right strings and so on because I love to play, I love to hear, hear good music, and I love to make good music. You know, it's not like it was, but it's, it's good enough. And, and with these guys, we've been playing together for a long time, and we, uh, we, we tend to, we, we tend to uh, build on each other. And therefore, I enjoy it uh, as much as I ever have, because uh, I'm doing something that I love. Um, but what I would recommend to other TBI survivors is do what you love in any way you can. You, you, you got joy from that before, that's why you love it, and you need to continue it because it can bring you a lot more self-esteem and a lot more um, self-confidence in approaching other new things as well. You know, I, have some, I always have something to fall back on. My dog, Trixie, was one of my biggest supporters throughout my recovery process. One of the first doctors I ever went to um, was an amazing woman, and the first thing she asked me was, do you have a pet at home? And I said, yes, I have a pug, Trixie. And she was so excited and so happy because she always recommends that her patients, if they don't have a dog or a cat or some sort of animal at home, to get a pet if they're not comfortable with a dog or a cat, get a fish, so that there's something there that can keep them company to help in the recovery process. Because a lot of TBI survivors, they don't leave their house, they can't really interact with other people if they can't remember conversations. So if they have a pet at home, it's really helpful to talk to them, to have their companionship. And so with my dog, 
because I was bedridden for three, four months and out of school, out of contact with my friends and no social life at all, I had my dog with me, sitting with me in my bed while I would listen to the TV and she would just keep me company. She would always sit and even now if I'm not feeling well, if I am having an off day with my head more so than normal, she can sense it and she'll come and sit with me and it's really cute. She's been a really great companion when either some of my friends have decided not to be my friend anymore. She's just always been there and she's supported me. My TBI has changed me as a person in many ways. I have learned to become more patient as a person because I know that the recovery process is slow and doesn't happen overnight. And so patience has been something that I have learned. Also, I have learned acceptance because this is something that I've had to learn to accept to be able to enjoy the rest of my life. And I know that's very difficult for some people, but acceptance has been extremely important as well as a positive attitude. Just keep going forward. There's other people out there that have a lot worse in problems than me. I know there is. And I don't pity them, I don't feel bad for them, because I know they can, they're, if they're strong enough, they can do it. So you just have to keep looking forward no matter what. The TVI has, has actually made me feel stronger about myself, because to me, being a survivor is a very, very big thing. I've survived through my accident, I've survived through my deformities when I was young, to me, I am, yeah, I call myself a, a strong cookie, tough cookie. And no matter what comes my way, I, I feel like I'm tough enough to take it. I'm very fortunate that I can still be active. I've traveled uh, in the past couple of years to several different places, and, and uh, I enjoy that. Um, I travel with a group of, of people I uh, belong to a society that it's a lighthouse preservation society and and their their trips are wonderful. I would advise distracting yourself during the day, doing something that you, you enjoy doing, something that you're capable of doing now. It's like a second chance for me like to do all over again, but this time I'm really, really uh, taking, taking it really seriously uh, and really making uh, my, my best of effort to do uh, the best.